Lindsay Lohan has been ordered back to jail for 30 days after admitting to violating her probation. Los Angeles judge Stephanie Sautner told her to surrender to county jail by next Wednesday while issuing a series of conditions to avoid serving another 270 days behind bars. Because of jail overcrowding in California, Lindsay will likely not serve the full 30 days in jail. Here's an exchange between Judge Stephanie Sautner and Lindsay in court. You admit that you violated probation by failing to obey all orders of the court with yes, respect Your to Honor. both things that the city attorney represented. Yes, Your Honor. Justin Bieber now acknowledges reports that a 20-year-old woman is accusing him of fathering her three-month-old child. Originally, his agent issued a statement denying the allegations, but now Justin's tweeted about it. In his post, Justin says he's focusing on his music and is, as he goes on to say, going to ignore the rumours. The world premiere of new film, Michael Jackson, The Life of an Icon, took place in London overnight. It's produced by his friend David Guest and is a behind-the-scenes account of the star's life, featuring rare interviews with members of Michael's family and friends. Tito Jackson tells us he's not surprised by how open his family were for the film. It's been a documentary that we wanted to capture and let people know and try to have some insight who this person truly is. Alexandra Burke says honesty was key to her stint on the X Factor judging panel, filling in for sick judge Kelly Rowland. Alexandra won the show in 2008 and reveals what it was like stepping behind the judging desk. It was amazing, very surreal, but absolutely an honour to be on the other side. It wasn't easy. All I could do was just be myself and just be honest, because for me, honesty matters more than anything in the world. And Hollywood star Robert Vaughn is joining the cast of Coronation Street. Known for his roles in The Man from Uncle and Hustle, he's set to appear in Corrie next year. I'm Carla Battisti with Entertainment News. First for Showbiz.